guys, what is up? Lefty back here again, and thanks for checking out the video. So today, we're going to be going over my plate carrier setup, and I think with current uh, events going on in America and across the country, I think it's a pretty good time to talk about body body armor and plate carriers and stuff like that. So this is not going to be a review. This is just a plate carrier setup that I'm using right now in its current configuration. Um, and the plate carrier is relatively new as well, so I'm not going to give a whole bunch of review on it other than I am enjoying it. So anyway, so without further ado, let's get into it. Also, real quick too, if anybody wants to subscribe to any of my social media as well as subscribe to the channel, feel free to do though. I have links down below. So anyway, let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so this is the plate carrier setup. It is a Velocity Systems Law Enforcement plate carrier. I do have the Haley Strategic Rig on the front, the DC-3RX maybe or something like that. One of the variants of those numbers and those letters and all that fun stuff. Obviously, in multi-cam, I still enjoy multi-cam, even though it seems like everybody's switching to um, Ranger Green, but then it'll cycle back, and then it'll be Coyote will be the new hotness, and then it'll come back to multi-cam, and when it comes back, I will be ready for it, but... Anyway, so I have it attached in with the, cl uh, the clip system as well as the Velcro. Um, I am rocking two HESCO plates in there. They are the special threat ones. Um, when it comes to body armor, it basically just kind of depends on what your threats are going to be around here. A lot of people are probably not going to be having armor piercing rounds, but they probably will have uh, MA55 that you can pick up at Walmart still. Prices have gone up, but it's still there and people still have it. So... Um, other than that, yeah, this is pretty much the rig as is. Um, I will put this on a little bit later, but uh, so let's kind of dive right into it. So I've already, oh, yeah, I've already done kind of a review of this. If you guys want to go check it out, I will put a link up in the top corner, like right up here. And otherwise, pretty much what I have here is just four uh, mags for kind of my duty mags. I like the Lancers just because they have the the steel phillips it makes me feel a little bit better because the only weakness that the mag pools have is that as they get older they stretch out a little bit metal makes me feel a little bit better um then rocking two glock mags the the fancy 19x ones i don't know why they just you know look kind of cool with that shit as well otherwise any mags will work then i have a uh, multi-tool and then a backup flashlight from surefire just the uh, the cheaper one and stuff like that and then and both these kind of admin pouches are basically just both uh, medical pouches um, and here have should be gauze and pressure bandage and over here I have an, kind of a combat gauze and another pressure bandage that's just kind of what I carry on this um, the chest ray itself um, if this kit was being done I would have a belt system as well that has an extended medical um, system in it that has a little bit more stuff in it like uh, chest wounds and stuff like that or for chest wounds and uh, stuff like that, tension with thorax, and then also uh, tourniquets. So yeah, that's just kind of the fun stuff. But otherwise, that's pretty much what I have in here for medical. And then other than that, blah blah blah. That's pretty much it. Um, so the nice thing about having the big rig, I don't think I would ever really run or need to run four mags. The nice thing about these though is, if you want to, you can take one of these mags out, put something else in here, maybe like. Uh, I don't know, maybe a radio if the need be, or if you can take one of these out for just kind of stow this as backup medical supplies in another kit, then run the radio pouch in that, or you can run a pistol in these things. It all depends on what you want to do. That's kind of what I like about the Haley Strategic Rig, and that's what I kind of prefer now, because my older rig, if you've seen with the uh, the shell back, or the shell, I'm blanking the name, shell back, play here, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, the, the, that's the old school way with the Molly and stuff like that. Everybody's going with the swift clip system and stuff like that. It's just so much easier. Once you find a rig that you like and has a little bit of adaptation in there, there's just so much easier just to swap shit out. Um, I think it's just, it's just a better system. Uh, the one negatives though is it is a shit ton of Velcro. And as you use it, Velcro tends to degrade. Doesn't really hold in. Obviously, you have that loud ripping noise anytime you have to open a pouch, which to me it really isn't a big deal because I'm not going to be going no damn like covert ops kind of shit. But uh, the only issue too um, that I will talk about that I have with the plate here, um, besides the fact that it is velocity, the only thing I have against velocity is the fact that they don't sell armor to civilians. Not a big deal because uh, another third party distributor, whoever, will sell their armor to um, civilians at a cheaper price anyway. Um, but that is just kind of a day against them as a company. The fact that they won't sell armor to civilians is kind of a, I don't know, kind of stupid in my opinion. But um, but if we go on the side of the play carrier, as you can see, 
again, this is not a review. This is just kind of an overview kind of shit. The plates are a little bit small for the actual carrier, but it's fine. Um, but they do have these. This is kind of my preferred. The, the only issue that I run into them when you run in the Swift Clip system is it's kind of nice to have these um, to be able to buckle into some molly on the side here because you can get clips that fit into uh, the molly that used to be on the cummerbund, and then you can clip it in so it'll be nice and tight. Um, I'm not really too worried about it swinging off because it's quite a bit in order to actually... Uh, get this to separate from the uh, velcro on the inside but it would be nice and stuff like that but i do prefer this um stretchy material because once you put uh all this weight on and shit everybody likes to cinch it down super tight and then all of a sudden they have to breathe when they're running and stuff like that and it gets very very tricky and having just a little bit of elastic on these just helps a a ton so um but yeah that's pretty much it that's what i'm rocking for placator air to it is not it is not light by no means, but um, these plates are a little bit over five pounds each. So the whole thing probably weighs, I don't know, pretty close to 20 pounds. I'll have to weigh it one day, but actually I'll probably wait a little bit after and then I'll put it in the video description if I remember to. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's don this bitch. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like when it's on. This is kind of not super duper perfectly fitting. I can adjust it a little bit, but for video purposes, that's fine. And uh, they are doing the lawn outside. So unfortunately for the noise, but this is the only time I have to Records. So anyway, uh, the funny thing about plate carriers and armor and stuff like that, it always feels heavier until you get it on you. Once you get it on, it feels pretty good. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like on. I think it's pretty much up. It could be scooted up a little bit, but besides that, it feels pretty good. It doesn't have any of the buckles in there, so if you have the shoulder shoulder rifle, it's pretty it's pretty good. You can get it pretty high and tight in there and stuff like that. And it's not too it's not too annoying. You don't have any like weird cheek well thing going on in there but yeah all my stuff is here and then again this system is kind of nice because you can add stuff behind the velcro again it's velcro so you know will wear out eventually but you can add stuff back to it and on the sides if you need more um things which i do not so anyway thank you guys for watching that's pretty much it again this review it's not a review of this stuff but i will be doing a review of it uh in a quite some time probably like a year from now but uh anyway hopefully we can still buy armor and plate carriers and all that fun stuff uh down the road so anyway thank you guys for watching be good